continuing on with our crop development, uh, assessing corn stands. So when you're out there in the field doing that, some tools of the trade or a tape measure or something to mark off one one thousandth of an acre for 30 inch rows at 17 feet, five inches. And if you drop 34,000 plants per acre, then you're looking for a plant roughly every six inches. And some of the other tools, you need a shovel or a sturdy hand trowel because we're finding gaps in the stand. We want to find those seeds to find out if they're going to come or if they're done. And some of the missing seeds, we see things like this where they call the optile is burnt. It's done. It's, it's done pushing through the heavy clay soil. And it's also shallow seeded, so probably had a lot of chilling injury on it as well. So this, this plant isn't going to develop any further. Some of the others we do see emerge, some three leaf corn, some of this could be accumulation of herbicide. Uh, some of it could still be remnants of, of cold weather stresses. So we had a few nights at minus five before this corn emerged. So once again, uh, this, this plant probably not gonna be very productive as, as it moves on. And some of the other things we see again are signs of imbibitional chilling injury, some of the twisted, uh, 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 distorted growth habits that are indicative of heavy crusting and cold soil conditions. And once again, this plant won't develop into, uh, into much of a yielder. So in this particular field, there are areas uh, where I could count up to 19 plants in a thousandth of an acre or 19,000 plants per acre. Over 30 of those plants were, 30% uh, of those plants rather, are not very healthy looking. And for every area I could find with plants, I could find just as many areas where there's 20 and 30 foot gaps in the row where there's no plants emerged at all. So a pretty easy decision to replant on this field. So just to recap, it's those April, early May planted corn uh, fields on clay soils. This is where we're finding the struggles with crop emergence due to heavy crusting. And so be mindful, there are many areas with no issues. There are some areas where maybe up to 10% of the acres might have to be replanted and some reports of other areas up to 50%. It's going to depend on the rain that's coming here in the next couple of days, whether we can soften this uh, ground up and get a few more plants through. So worthwhile being in the field to do your stand assessments, help you uh, make those uh, decisions that are, are necessary moving forward. So thanks for listening. Stay safe, stay healthy.